Good morning, Thurston High School. Today is Friday, October 1st, and this is your Eagle Report. It sure feels good to be back in the THTV studio. It does. I'm excited to be part of this year's THTV cast and crew. So let's get this show started. All right. Christian Hernandez and Sean Holmes talked to students in all grades at Thurston this past week to get their opinions on how they felt about being back to school. How does it feel to be back in school? I mean, it feel okay, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing it four years, you know what I'm saying? Last year, you know, um, just going to thug it out. It feels good. I feel like I got to see my friends that I haven't seen in a long time, and it's different. I feel like it's better because I can focus more than being at home. Hi, how does it feel to be back in school? It feels great. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this much drama, but I guess it is. <laughs> yeah. And how about you? Um, it's all right. It's just that, uh, I don't know. Y'all be walking too slow in the hallway, so I really don't like it. I feel that one when I feel that one. Oh, uh, man, you know, it feel good. Senior year, uh, feeling good, looking good, sounding good, money good, school good, you know. Just keep your mask on, man, so I can finish out my senior year, please. Thank you, Thurston students, for your opinion. Last week was Spirit Week, and the Thurston staff and students showed their spirit by dressing up on each of the different dress-up days. Kamaya, Taylor, and Aaliyah were able to capture some of the school spirit in this video. Last week was Spirit Week. Monday was Pajama Day, Tuesday was Class Color Day, freshmen wore white, sophomores wore purple, juniors wore blue, seniors wore black, and also staff wore pink. Wednesday was Wacky Wednesday, Thursday was Throwback Thursday, and Friday was Eagle Wear. Thank you, Kamaya Taylor and Aaliyah, for capturing the funny moments during Spirit Week and reminding us that we still have school spirit, even after being out of school for so long. Now here's Alea Moss with some highlights from our winning homecoming football game. Let's take a look. On Friday the 24th, Thurston played against Annapolis for our homecoming game. Touchdowns was made by J.R.M. Bradley and Malik Daniels, and Richie Reinhardt passed to Davion Henderson for a two-point conversion. We won 14-6. Go Eagles. Thank you, Aaliyah, for capturing the best moments of our winning game. Go Eagles! Kyler Wright and I have you covered with everything you need to know for next week. Here's what you need to know for next week. On October 5th, we have a girls JV volleyball game versus Robichaud from 5.30 to 6.30. Also on October 5th, we have a girls varsity volleyball game versus Robichaud from 7 to 8. On October 7th, we have two games, a girls JV volleyball game at RU from 5.30 to 6.30 and a girls varsity volleyball game at RU from 7 to 8. For football, we have two games, a boys JV football game versus Crestwood at Thurston from 6.30 to 7.30 and on October 8th, a boys varsity football game at Crestwood from 7 to 8.30 also have two games. We have a boys varsity soccer game versus Robichaud at Thurston High School from 5.30 to 7.30. On, on October 6th, we have a boys varsity soccer game versus Crestwood at Thurston from 5.30 to 7.30. We also have one cross country meet 
which is a varsity cross-country meet from 5.30 to 7.30 at Lake Erie Metro Park. Next, we have two swimming meets. The first one is on October 5th, which is a varsity swimming meet at Annapolis from 6 to 8. The next one is October 7th, which is a varsity swimming meet also at Crestwood from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Next, on October 5th, there's a Thurston PTO meeting from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Also, on October 6th, is count day, so make sure you're there. See you next week for more upcoming events. That's a wrap on our first episode of the Eagle Report. Have a great week, Eagles, and don't forget to soar.